Hi there. In this video, I want to talk to you about why small to medium sized enterprises actually have the competitive advantage to make the shift towards a sustainable business model. My name is Bumi Toko. First of all, we want to define what sustainability is. What is sustainability or what is a sustainable business model then? Well, the World Commission on Environment and Development have defined sustainability as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. Okay, we can unpack that and we're going to do a series on sustainable business models. But for this video today, we're talking about why is it easier for SMEs to transition to a sustainable business model and why is it important? So let's go to another definition that will make things clearer. My definition is that a sustainable business model is a business that is conversant, that it operates within an ecosystem and therefore includes external stakeholders in its planning. It also gives equal consideration to finance, to the financial environment or financial values, to environmental values, and also gives equal consideration to social values. In other words, a sustainable business model cares about making money, but also cares about the environment and cares about people. Some people call this the triple bottom line, which is a planet profit and people or people planet profit, <laughs> whichever way you want to look at it. But all three are within what a sustainable business model will start thinking about. So let's get into why this is important and why an SME can easily transition into this type of business model. It's no longer a case where individuals are considering just making money. No, people are now thinking about looking after the environment and looking after people at the same time. So let's compare an SME to a large organization. How large organizations win? Well, they win because they have they can get economies of scale, which means that they are buying so much or they are releasing so many products that they begin to benefit from economies of scale. They also have the cash flow to invest and many large organizations own well-known brands. All right. However, they are not as nimble. They are not as flexible as a small to medium sized enterprise and they have also rigid processes that you need to go to for any change to occur. Well, let's look at what a, an SME can do then. An SME is flexible. An SME is generally very innovative because they have to. <laughs> they don't have the same resources as a large organization. So that's why you find many major businesses that began in somebody's garage, aka Amazon, aka Facebook, aka PayPal, and it goes on and on. These businesses were very innovative because they didn't have the resources that large organizations have. They're also very adaptive to change. In other words, even those three, those three enterprises that I just told you about. Now they're large organizations, of course, but they started out being SMEs. So I'm saying to us that if you're an SME, you are probably extremely innovative and it is easy for you to adapt your business model to a sustainable one. So what is the trade-off here? Well, the trade-off here is that economic power for responsive sustainable business model you can that's the trade-off you can easily convert your business model your mission to a sustainable business model by considering the environment and considering the people so let's reflect on that for a moment what do you think would would be the main barrier to change in your organization if you wanted to really get involved in becoming a sustainable business model enterprise what do you think would be the barriers to you transitioning in that direction leave some answers in the comment box below what it means to make the shift towards a sustainable business model is going to require a few things i mean let's be upfront about it number one is going to require you having an open mind What's an open mind? 
willingness to embrace something new, willingness to embrace the, the new way of thinking around your finance, around your environment, around people that are working in your organization or around people that are in the society where you're located. It's also going to require willingness to embrace that change from all the members of your organization, not only the people who are the leaders of the organization or the managers. No, it's going to require the willingness to embrace change from the CEO down to the person that sweeps the floor. Everybody must be willing to make that transition. And that fundamental change will come as a result of changing attitude, changing policy, and also a change in the organization's environment. Your environment has to be one that allows new ideas and fresh ideas to come in and also allows the ideas that would take your business model from where it is right now towards one that is much more sustainable. All right. So why exactly is flexibility an advantage? For an SME, I'm telling you that you are closer to your customers because you are a small to medium sized enterprise. You are closer to those looking for employment and you are closer to those who want to invest. And there's so much investment nowadays for enterprises that are moving towards a sustainable business model. Uh, the government offers certain schemes for companies that want to set up a sustainable business model. In fact, banks do lend money to businesses that run sustainable business models. It's just the way people are moving right now. And we just got to get to it. We got to get on board with that. So before we go on, what should you do as an SME? Well, there are two ideas that we think you ought to consider. Number one is to capitalize on this social impact revolution. And you should also consider establishing yourself within your industry, within your sphere of influence as a sustainability enriched brand. I think if you are willing to stick your neck out to champion sustainability within your industry, you could invariably become a market leader. So let's reflect on this. Are you convinced about making the shift towards a sustainable business model? If yes, where do you think you should start in your organization? Please put it in the comment box. If no, what's holding you back? Also, please put that in the comment box below. Now, you can book your free 15 minutes with us and we would help you start the process. So if you look in the description box, you'll find our phone number and email. So do contact us. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And I hope that you've been enlightened. We are going to come back with more videos in this series. So do come and check out what we are doing. Thank you so much and God bless.